I think Burlington is one of those unique places where it's large enough that there's uh, a lot of people that can go and do an event like this, but it's small enough where it still feels personal. Um, you feel like you're making a difference. It's not like you're in a city of a million people. You can go out and do these type of events and you can actually see down the line how that helps other people, how that affects change. Absolutely not. It is far too cold for me to get in anywhere near that water, no chance. So right now in Burlington Bay, the temperature is around 34, 35 degrees Celsius. The coldest water in the lake is gonna be in the shallowest parts, which is right along the edges, and the, the warmest water is in the deeper water offshore. It's beautiful. It really cuts down on the wind. It's uh, warmer than I thought. Um, no, it's, it's cold. It's pretty really cold. It's pretty cold. Well, thank you all for coming uh, and be part of today as we, we test the waters for the 18th annual Penguin Plunge. It, it's also, this event is part of the Parks and Rec Department's Winterfest activities, which uh, Parks and Rec Director Jesse Bridges uh, is here to talk about. Um, it's a huge partnership. Um, so it's, you know, all the city departments have chipped in and um, our tree team was down there taking out some, some trees and building uh, trellises. Uh, our grounds team built the bonfire pit. Uh, uh, our tree team harvested the wood for the fire. Parks and Rec has been just a wonderful partner of ours. They help us take care of, you know, cutting that hole or putting the bubbler on to make sure that the water doesn't freeze. Um, helping us with bringing the media together. These are the type of events, again, that are they're really community-focused, uh, collaborative events. It's, it's what uh, the city's all about internally. It's what this department is all about, especially going forward. Uh, it's these partnerships uh, and these positive outcomes that really have impact on the community, and specifically impact on the community that's in need. Good morning. What's your last name? Willits, W-I-L-L-E-T-T-S. Okay, so basically it starts at 11 o'clock, the plunging, okay. and they'll have one plunger per minute, approximately, and your number is going to be 20, and one of the Norwich students will run with your team, they'll say, Team 20, let's go, okay. and they'll get you at the door, and then they'll run you out to the water, and then when you run back, you run back into the heat as well. Penguin Plunge is our most important fundraiser every year. It raises almost half of our operating budget. So it's a really critical part of what we do. And clearly the priority is to raise money, but it's also to create awareness in the community about Special Olympics, um, about the kinds of programs that we have, our athletes, the importance of community support for our athletes to be successful. Um, so in that regard, I think we always have great success because it's always a great turnout down at the lake. Um, I think more and more people are um, sort of challenging themselves and challenging their friends to be a part of a team and get out and, and do something that only Vermonters would do. Um, please hug me after I'm done with the plunge today because you are my best friends. Next year, you, you can be on my team. Next year. Team. Thank you, Harrison. Team Harrison is one of our top fundraising teams, raised over $17,000 this year. My husband started our team at Team Harrison. My son Harrison has Down syndrome. He's a Special Olympics athlete. And um, when we moved here, my husband saw the plunge going on and decided he was going to start a team. So that was 12 years ago. For the plunge, um, I love to go to the water. It's, the water is cold. Yeah. It's so freezing. And then like, like all my friends and me go to the water together and dive or to um, get down and then put, put your head on the water. Sweet. In the tent, is, uh, it's fun, it's nice to get to uh, see other people getting amped up, to see other people uh, trying to prepare themselves. Uh, I don't think it's fair that they make it that warm because when the doors open, it, it just hits you.
priority to offer quality competitions. It's not about just getting athletes together and you know being able to have a, uh, a, a game of basketball or a, a skiing tournament. It's about really replicating as, as well as we can an Olympic type experience. They're deserving of that. They've earned that opportunity and so any falling short of reaching our revenue targets through the plunge would have just have a devastating impact. I'll for sure do it again next year. It's it's one of those things that's uh, it's fun to help out people. It's fun to fundraise for a good cause, and it's fun to do something like this. It's just a little bit quirky, um, but yeah, without a second thought, I'd do it again. That's it, man. You're an awesome thing.